Legionnaire's disease has been known to kill people in Scotland. I get a phone call one day from a hotelier, owner of a major hotel in Scotland, who said, we may have had a client here who has died of Legionnaire's disease. He certainly died of the disease. Whether he got it here is, is up for debate. He said, and I'm uncertain as to how to progress with this. Well, I said, okay, so a laboratory knows this and a newspaper knows this, and it could be they put two and two together. What, what are you thinking? He said, well, I'm asking you. I said, here's what I would do. I would send out a news release marking the death of this client of yours, expressing regret about that, and saying that you believe the hotel may have been the source and that you're investigating it and you're giving every, every help to the authorities. Now, his immediate reaction was, well, what if everybody cancels? And what if it's wrong? I said, well, what if I bring my family there for the Easter break and you knew this and you failed to tell me? That's worse. He said, so he took my advice and a couple of days later, something appeared in the Glasgow Herald newspaper from the hotelier saying that it could be the source. What happened after that? I'm unsure. I've been to, back to that hotel many times before. The owner is still the owner and the hotel is still there. But it's a little ex example of when you get on the front foot with the truth, even though the truth may be deeply unpalatable, people trust you for telling the truth. There is a real shortage of that in politics across the world, but particularly in Britain. And people are trying to get away with the best they can instead of being upfront and earning our respect. That's what the hotelier did that day by telling the truth, even though the source was unestablished.